Let's move on to the London GG chat. The biggest event of the weekend, one of the biggest events in the world. After five rounds of play, they cut to uh, only undefeated, played a shadow round at end of day two, and then cut the remaining undefeated to another event, day three, which was Monday. The finals were actually stream chat. I know it didn't, I don't think a lot of people realized. I saw a lot, I saw some people tweeting and I replied to a couple of tweets of people like, oh man, LGT finals weren't, weren't streamed. Like what a, what a sham of a competitive game, uh, you know, uh, tournament. They were streamed, they were on Facebook though. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> to be fair, Facebook is a, is a dumpster fire. <laughs> don't think any event owes the community streams. I don't disagree, chat. Yeah. I mean, especially after having done them myself, an event has a, a lot of stuff going on. You have to make sure everything's running smoothly. You have to make sure that the judges are well taken care of. You have to make sure your volunteers are doing what they need to, that the venue's happy, that there's so many things happening. A stream takes tons of time and is usually super expensive. And so, the fact that people would be like, well, why don't you just stream? Like, it's not that simple. Um, my stream setup is really minimalist uh, to the point that it's kind of, it's 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 not great. I should probably upgrade. I, I think I need a new rig to upgrade, to be fair. So if you want more cameras on my streams, you, uh, subscribe to me on Patreon. But it still takes me about 90-ish minutes to set up uh, before an event. And then every round probably has 20 minutes of additional setup. And then there's also constant troubleshooting. People knock cameras over. You have to recharge your microphone batteries. There's so many random things that you have to do in addition to streaming. So you need at least one person basically just to babysit it full time. And a lot of, and large events don't necessarily have like a random person they can do. Not to mention the fact that it probably takes them two or $3,000 of equipment to do. It also takes them uh, an internet connection, which a lot of venues will charge them two or $3,000 to, to use. If you're, especially if you're at a big event, like a convention center, those are designed for business conventions that have unlimited budgets essentially. So they gouge the fuck out of you. Adepticon for an internet, a hardline internet connection, I think charged you $400, which is insane. You could get Wi-Fi over the course of the weekend for like 150, but if you wanted them to run a cable to, I had a booth at that uh, for a couple years at Adepticon. Um, if they wanted you to run a cable to you, they would charge you like $400. And that was, I think only if the event had already paid for the, a hardline internet connection to begin with. I understand that people want these large event streams so that there's like, you know, there's psych, there's hype and there's accountability and stuff like that. But man, you can't just expect it because it's so hard and it's such a strain on the event's resources. And they don't, like, they don't make any money. I can speak from experience. It's live streaming 40K is a big, it's a big waste of time. That's a huge money sink. And a, an event, like, it's advertising, which is fine, sure. But I, I think, like, literally, they would probably be better served spending all that money on Facebook ads. This this sort of a community entitlement to live streaming at this point is a, is a little bit wild. Chris G. <laughs> and thanks for getting me on that tangent there. I totally agree with you, man. I think live streams are great. I think more events should live stream. But, man, do I not expect an event to do that. They could charge to watch the stream, like, $5. No one would buy that, though. No, you're wrong. No one would buy that. War Games Live is free, right? Gaming content is most people's hobby, full on. So people just do it for free. And you're competing with people doing it free of charge and, you know, just based off donations, you know, myself included, right? I stream constantly and I stream events, but, uh, and I, and, and it's a significant portion of my living right now, but I am certainly not the only content creator out there. And the vast majority of other content creators do what they do, you know, Entire, not getting anything out of it. So if I were to suddenly charge a subscription service to watch any of my videos, no one would do it because they could watch Auspex. They could watch dozens of other videos. And the same goes for, for live streaming. No one would, would pay for an LGT live stream. Then at that point, right, you're, you're putting all the money into equipment and stuff like that. You're charging people a, uh, a subscription fee <laughs> and then you're just be losing all your money. And you wouldn't even get the, the exposure that you would from live streaming it. People already do pay to watch Art of War and Tabletop Titan streams. That, that's a different situation though, right? Paying a subscription to a, a group of personalities that stream regularly and also stream free content that they can use as advertising for their subscription service is wildly different than paying to watch an individual event. Um, if the, the if the question was like, would I pay a subscription fee to play to watch like War Games live stream events every week? Yes, and in fact I do because I'm a ten dollar patron with him. Would I pay five dollars to watch a single forty k event? No. 
Probably not. Um, I mean, I might because I would maybe watch it for content, but I don't think 99% of the people online would watch. You're better off like streaming to Twitch and making like chat subscriber only or something so that you can uh, you can get people to subscribe that way. That is what I have to say about that. <laughs>